In this week's episode, we continue our journey south. We start the week in Bowen, famous for its delicious mangoes, and then continue on to Airlie Beach, where we take a magnificent Whit Sunday sailing trip. Afterwards, we continue going further south, and we stop by the Yungela National Park and finish our week in Mackay. Hello and welcome to a new episode. Hey guys, so guess where we are? Have a guess. We appear to be in front of a big mango. We are in front of a giant mango. We're in Bowen. Yeah, so we just arrived in Bowen and headed straight for the visitor centre and the big mango. Yeah, so it's mango season now, so we're gonna probably feast out on mangoes for the next few weeks. Yep, mango season has literally just started, so we've yep. come at the perfect time. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, this week we're going to explore Bowen and uh, then we're going to keep making our way a little bit further south and probably spend a week in uh, in and around Early Beach, which we absolutely love the place. Yes, and there's lots to do, which we've never done before. Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah. There's quite a lot to do that we have done before, but we won't mind. <laughs> exactly. So. Thanks for joining us again, guys, and uh, yeah, let's see what Bowen has to offer. Let's go. The visitor centre recommended that we came up here to Flagstaff Hill. Uh, it's got an incredible lookout. I mean, it really is 360 degree lookout. One direction you can see Bowen Marina and all of the town. Um, the other direction you can see out to uh, the ocean and there's quite a few islands out here at Bowen as well. Um, I think the big one in the background there is Gloucester Island, but there are lots of others too. Um, I think we're now going to just head on up um, along Kings Beach and head up to Horseshoe Bay. We'll see what that's like. All right, we're just on our way up to the Rotary Lookout here at Bowen, at Horseshoe Bay. And uh, yeah, it's an amazing little spot. The bay looks fantastic. The water looks amazing. And I really want to go for a swim because it's really hot. But yeah, unfortunately I can't get the drone up here either. So there's an airport nearby, which is a bit frustrating, but never mind. So from this lookout, we should get some fantastic views of Horseshoe Bay. So let's go have a look. Um, but that's actually beautiful because it's a hot day. Um, the last bit of the, the walk is that kind of like a metal grate. So we've just tied Archie just to a tree just before. Oh, he's literally like five meters away um, because he doesn't like to walk on that metal grate kind of. With the holes, it doesn't, yeah, with these yeah. holes, it doesn't like it. But yeah, what a stunning view of Horseshoe Bay. Wow. I know. This, is this is beautiful. Yeah, really, really pretty. Yeah. Bowen's more than I expected yeah. it would be. I didn't really know anything yeah. about Bowen. I didn't realise the beaches were so amazing. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, take a look down there. How are we? Are we all ready to go? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, 
Yeah, so we're uh, just packing up here at Bowen. It's a bit wet, as you may have noticed. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah, we tried to beat the weather, but no, nah, didn't make it. We're literally mid and the heavens open. Yeah, so you might not be able to see us very well, but we're all ready to go. So uh, I think, uh, let me just try this. <laughs> I think we're going to get changed and head off, hey? Yeah, once we've, once we've once. just ready to go, yeah. we'll change clothes, dry yeah. off, and then leave. Yeah, sounds good. Beautiful, okay. beautiful Queensland weather. Yay! Yeah, great. That's great. Right, um, I'm not sure if you heard any of that, <laughs> because we had to hitch in the pouring rain, so... Yeah, it was only drizzling and then the moment we started to hitch it just uh, unleashed a crazy downpour here so oh well um so i had to get changed and back in the car now once i'm in the car i'm not leaving at all so hannah's just removing the chocks and now she's getting changed as well just because we're absolutely drenched right through so pretty crazy um look we've we've packed up a few times in the pouring rain so it's not not terribly uncommon but I don't think we've had it this wet before in our trip. It's it's just absolutely, absolutely soaking wet here. Um, but yeah, Archie's okay. He didn't get a drop on him. Here he is, Archie. Hey, how are you doing back there? You good being a good boy? And uh, I'm in the car just waiting for Hannah, and then we're going to set off. So we're going to head towards Airlie Beach, where we'll probably spend about a week in Airlie Beach. Um, and we've been to Airlie Beach like half a dozen times. We absolutely love it there. Uh, the only thing that we realized yesterday is it's schoolies at the moment. So that might be a little bit interesting. So we're going to have to, you know, brave the brave the streets of Airlie with thousands and thousands of tw uh, year 12s. So that would be fun. But, uh, but you know, you know, it might, might be a bit of fun. But apart from that, I think uh, we're all ready to go. Still excited about Airlie, so... Just gonna hang around here, wait for Hannah to come back and then uh, make our way there. That's better. No trip to Early Beach would be complete without going on a boat and seeing the Whit Sundays. Yeah, so we've just got to the uh, Early Beach Marina here. 
Uh, it's a bit of a cloudy day, but it is trying to brighten up, which is good. So it's hot. it may be cloudy, but it's super hot yeah, it's, and humid. Yeah, it is. And uh, yeah, we're going on a boat today out of the Whit Sundays, which should be great. So we originally booked on one boat uh, called Entice. And then uh, a couple of weeks ago, they actually sent us an email and canceled that booking. Yeah, we're here definitely out of season. Yeah. So there were low numbers on yep. the boat that we were booked on. In fact, I think it was just us that had booked. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it was only going to be us. So they won't run it with two people, unfortunately. But luckily, the agent we booked through upgraded us to the next uh, kind of luxury boat. So yep. we actually got pretty much 200 bucks per person upgrade for free. Yeah, which is that's really good. great. Um, so we're going on Whit Sunday's getaway. Yeah. Uh, and it's a, it only has eight people on board. It's a two day, two night uh, boat. Yeah. Uh, and I checked the booking just before we got here and there's still four spots available. So that, yeah, we're not that could mean that could mean we're the only there's only two couples on the boat. Yeah, we're not we're not too sure yet. Yeah. So the reason we picked Entice in the first place was um, we do enjoy water activities, and Entice had a glass uh, glass bottom canoe, which we thought would be amazing. Yeah. It also had one of those little sea scooter things. Yeah, and stand up um, paddle boards and a load of other water act sport activity yes. things. Yes, nothing too full on, but just mm. you know. Uh, interesting ones so unfortunately this one doesn't have those it still has stand-up paddle boards um, and it still has all of the snorkeling gear because we fully intend to go snorkeling yep. lots hopefully yeah and we uh, I think that the main difference between Entice and Whitsunday's getaway is uh, this one's a little bit more of a luxury kind of couplesy type mm. uh, boat which we kind of wanted more of the adventure but you go to the same spots we'll still be able to do some snorkeling yeah. Uh, we get our own room with private ensuite yeah. and air conditioning, yeah, which is amazing. Yeah, that's the difference. Mm. Uh, so, yeah, well, I'm, I'm stoked. I cannot wait to get out on the water. Yeah, yeah, we're really looking forward to it. Archie's mm. being well looked after. We've got him at, in at Sam's Dog Care with Sundays or yeah. whatever it's called. Yeah, and she's already sent us like a dozen photos of Archie playing with the other dogs and yeah, having a ball. Yeah, he's already having a great time. So he's he's going to be well looked after. In yeah. fact, I think he's having a hydro bath and nail nails clipped oh. by uh, before we pick him up. Very so. fancy. So yeah, it should be good. Yeah, so we're, we're here a little bit early, probably half an hour early. I think we might just chill out, get a drink, and then uh, mm -hmm. wait for our names to be called and get on the boat and yeah. head off into the Whit Sundays. Yes, yeah, it's a little bit noisy here. You may or may, the microphone may or may not have picked up on it, mm. but I suppose that's the nature of being at a marina. There's always things and work going on. Exactly, so uh, yeah, we'll uh, see you on board. Yeah, can't wait. Very excited. Are you? Yep. <laughs> Should be good. All of these boats are amazing. We'll grab your bag. There we go. Just take a bag, though. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. No problem. Hey, mate, you're right. Yeah, you're yep. good. Okay. Feeling? Hello. Uh, excited. Um, mm. Quite warm. Yes. So. Mm. Not sure. Maybe. Ah. Where are you taking us, Hen? 
We are going over there. <laughs> I can't tell you where it was it's called, but just over there. Do you trust me? No. Oh. <laughs> Look, no hands! <laughs> Right, so here we are, just uh, been on the boat for a couple of hours now, just been really chillaxed, having a couple of beers, just enjoying a bit of sailing as well. We haven't done any sailing, like hands-on sailing, so it's been quite cool. So Hannah's at the wheel at the moment, you can see here, I'll show you. So I'm not really sure where we're going, but uh, yeah, I think uh, the plan is for the trip is just to cruise around today, do a bit of sailing, and then we're gonna hop and anchor in, uh, I think, uh, Hook Island somewhere, just somewhere kind of quite calm, have some dinner, and then tomorrow we're gonna check out Hill Inlet and do some snorkeling and stuff. So I think uh, what better time to do now is just to uh, crack open a beer and, oh, there we go, and uh, just enjoy. What a glorious day. It's uh, a million miles away from yesterday morning when it was absolutely torrential. So, um, so yeah, we had a lovely evening last night on the boat, a nice dinner and just relaxed fairly early night as the boat set off at half past five this morning and, uh, and headed, brought us over here to Whitsunday Island. This was a place that we were really keen to come and see. We have been here before uh, a few times, but not for a little while. And we hadn't been over to Hill Inlet uh, for a long time. In fact, I'm not sure Chris has been to this end before. So, um, so Hill Inlet is the postcard image that you'll probably see of the, the sort of windy, the windy inlet with all of the sand. Now it's high tide at the moment, so there isn't the sand, you can't see the sand at the moment, but it's still beautiful and the sea is just so turquoise which apparently is a trick of the light and it's the sand particles that are suspended and diffusing light which gives it that beautiful turquoise colour. So down here the beaches are some of the whitest beaches in the world due to the really high silica content and um, yeah they really look spectacular. So we'll be staying here for a couple of hours and um, Chris is, um, is putting the drone up and we'll just have a bit of a wander. We'll head down to the beach. And, um, and then later today, I think we're going to go to another couple of spots, maybe do some snorkeling, maybe some uh, stand up paddle boarding, we'll see. And, and then maybe a bit more sailing. So looking forward to a really nice, but relaxing day today.
So we've just made our way down onto Whitehaven Beach. We have it all to ourselves. How amazing is that? It's probably about 8.30 in the morning. So we got here extra early just to make sure that we had it when it was pretty quiet. And uh, you know, the quiet season also helps, but it's dead. It's only Hannah and I on the beach, which is just spectacular. And this beach is just something else. The white sand, the clear blue water, there's massive pieces of like tree, like this one behind me that was washed up during Cyclone Debbie a few years ago, which is pretty cool. Uh, and all around here, all around the shallows, there's loads of little sharks and little stingrays and all sorts of fish. It's just such a stunning, stunning place. We're so lucky to have it all to ourselves today. And have a look at this water. This is how clear it is. Look at this. Just a stunning spot. And I think, uh, I think I'm gonna chase around a few stingrays and sharks, see if I can get some cool underwater footage. But uh, yeah, I think uh, I might have a swim and then head back to the boat and do some snorkeling, I reckon. things must come to an end. We've had a glorious couple of days here on the Whitsunday getaway and we've managed to see a few of the islands, do some snorkeling, all sorts of things. Chris is now steering us back to Early Beach Marina, uh, so who knows where we'll end up to be honest, but, um, but yeah, no, we're due to get back in a couple of hours. It's been so good. Hill Inlet was a particular highlight and, and the snorkeling was probably some of the best snorkeling that I've done on the Whitsundays. The coral was really colourful as were the fish. So that's been, that's been really nice. So um, yeah, we're looking forward to seeing our little doggy again now and uh, maybe go for a bit of a swim this afternoon. Now ready to go? Yeah. Pack up morning again. Yeah, pack up morning again. Yeah, we don't have too too long a drive today, so that's all right. No. So yeah, we're at Early Beach at the moment, packing up for today, and uh, yeah, going to set off in probably half an hour or so, 
Uh, really loved our time at Airlie. I love Airlie Beach. It's it, I've been like half a dozen times, but it never gets old. Yeah, Chris doesn't want to go. No, I'd love to stay here a little bit longer, but we've got to keep moving because we've got things booked down the coast. So if we stay here longer, we'll have to skip something else. So we're gonna. <laughs> pack up and hit the road again. Yeah, Archie seems to be keen to go. He's already in the car. He is already in the car, little doggy. And the doors uh, are all open. He just jumps in and waits. Yeah, he just waits. Um, but yeah, Ellie Beach has been really lovely. Uh, not a huge amount to do in Ellie Beach. It's just a nice, cool place to chill out and relax. Uh, loads of nice little restaurants and bars and a, a nice mm -hmm. little lagoon. And obviously the boat out on the Whit Sundays was just phenomenal. Um, yeah, we could have stayed out there longer. We didn't want to yeah. come back. I was driving on the way back and I kept trying to turn around, but the captain kept, <laughs> he kept pulling me up on it. So, oh, yeah. what, what can you do? And then, then back on dry land, the caravan park's been a pretty good spot as well. Yeah, so we're at Island Gateway Caravan Park, is that what yeah. it's called? And uh, just kind of on the uh, other side of Ellie Beach, near uh, kind of towards Shuttle, um, uh, sorry, what was Shoot it called? Shoot Harbour. Yeah, it's a, a little a spot called Jubilee Pocket. Yes, that's right. And uh, yeah, for $35 a night uh, with our good day discount, yeah. um, it's pretty good, really. Good good sites, plenty of room. Well, they're a little cramped, but they're okay. they're all right. Um, yeah. Um, power water. Because when we arrived, it was torrential. Mm. They actually didn't put us in the dog friendly area down at the bottom. They put us in one of the um, sites sort of closest to the amenities, and um, because they that these are kind of like double concrete, double slab sites, mm. and we're kind of grateful for that because it's these, a much nicer spot. Yeah, you know? I mean, there's there's sort of the trees around here. The, mm. It's it's just it, it's a lot nicer than the pet friendly sites at the bottom, which is kind of a big field with powered sites. I mean, with our caravan and car when it was torrential, there was literally water flooding everywhere we would have just yeah. torn up that grass completely so you know probably a good idea that they didn't put us down there yeah yeah um, and it was there was a lot of mango trees down there which is nice but they had loads of rotting fruit all around that you know so it's much nicer up in this spot with um, yeah definitely. where we are although that being said i think it must drop fairly frequently because it looked like because i've been taking archie for walks down that end of the caravan park yeah, cleaned it all up. and they have cleaned it up yeah so. it probably does to be honest it's mango season now so they're yeah. picking them um as we speak but yeah it's been a really lovely spot and uh so today we're just going to pack it up probably another 10 minutes or so get mm -hmm. on the road and uh we're going to head down towards Mackay. Yeah. Uh, we're not really sure where we're going to stay or what we're going to do around there. No, we've um, got the brochure, so yeah. we are a little unprepared, but on the drive down, Chris will drive and I'll uh, read the brochure. Yeah, exactly. So I think we're definitely going to stop in Mackay, have a look around, and there's a, there's a few spots around which we'd really like to get there, but um, in order for us to have more time in Yapoon, which is next episode, um, we probably have to cut Makai a little short, so uh, that's the trade-off that we have to do, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, it's been a really good spot in Ailey, and uh, I think we'll get ready and get yeah, the Yeah, let's get finished. Let's do it. We've decided what we're going to do, and we're not actually going to stay at Makai tonight. We are now driving inland, and we are going to stay one night at Finch Hatton which is just at the entry of Yungella National Park. So while I was in the visit centre, the Whitsundays visit centre, I had a bit of a chat to the lady and she said it was definitely worth a visit. So we are coming in and um, yeah, we'll see see what this is like. Am I gonna stop at uh, the Pinnacles family pub and uh, maybe try one of their famous pies for lunch. What do you reckon, Han? That sounds amazing. I am hungry. Yeah, I'm pretty hungry too. Mm. Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's go.
Well, we just arrived at our campsite for the night uh, called Neem Hall. So we set up the caravan. We're just, just a little bit outside the town of Finch Hatton. So we're going to check out the Finch Hatton Gorge tomorrow and a few other little spots. But right now, what better way to spend a hot afternoon? I've got my chair, I've got my beer, and I'm sitting in the creek. How awesome is this? Yes. It's just such a lovely little spot. And I'm here with two doggies at the moment. So one of the doggies at the uh, campsite loves to collect rocks. Watch this. All right, you ready? You ready? Go get it. <laughs> so uh, yeah, her name is Zelda and uh, you throw her rock, she'll go and dive for it, she'll collect it and she takes it over to this little island here where she's got a massive pile of rocks. Um, such an odd, odd thing to do, here she comes. Coming back for more. Let's try it again. We got this rock. Here we go. Archie's clean as well. Here we go, doggies. Ready? Oh. <laughs> See ya. I'm not sure she got the same rock that I threw, but it doesn't matter. Come to the one you love. That's right. No! No! Hmm. <laughs> We've left Archie down at Neem Hall and we have come up the steep climb to Yungela National Park. We're just going to have a bit of a look around here for a couple of hours. We've just headed here to the sky window. Um, as I just mentioned, it was a really steep climb coming up, so I'm expecting this to be really good views here. Should we go check this out, Chris? Yep, let's do it. Okay. It's amazing how cool it is here. Back down in Finch Hatton, it's still really hot. And the car temperature gauge just was dropping and dropping and dropping. So at this point, we're at 24 degrees, so it's beautiful and cool. As you can see, we're right up in the clouds. It's incredible. We've just come a couple of kilometers down the road and we are now at Broken River. So this is a very small little place, um, but the, there is a really nice walk with a few platypus viewing areas. So we're going to go and see if we can spot a platypus. We've checked out all three of the viewing areas, but we haven't managed to spot a platypus. However, we have managed to see a few little turtles. Just beyond the platypus viewing platform, there is um, a rainforest discovery walk. I think it's only about 700 meters. So we're just going to check that out and uh, and then head back to the car.
we're back in the car after another week, ready to get on to the next place. Yeah, it's been a great week. It has, so yeah, Bowen feels such a long time ago now. Uh, yeah. We've had we've we've got up to so much. Um, yeah, it was a little bit longer than a week ago as Bowen. And then Airlie Beach is, well, one of our favourite places in the world, so we don't really need to say more than that. And uh, yeah, it's been it's been great. Young Gela was a surprise. Yeah, that was really a tip that one of our viewers gave us to go check it out, so we mm. did that, and uh, yeah, it was really good. Yeah, really pleased we did that. And, and then a quick overnighter in Mackay before now we're heading down to Yapoon. Yeah, so this the week was the last week of uh, Tropical North Queensland and uh, we should be kind of getting to the mid coast of Queensland now. It should be quite a bit less humid, which will be good. Yeah, I'm hoping there'll be a few less mozzies and midges too, yeah. because we are itching. Yeah. We, um, between sort of Early Beach and Yungala, we got quite a few bites. Oh, it was still inland. There was thousands of mosquitoes. Yeah. It was not, we got eaten alive there. Yeah, um, so the ankles and the elbows are suffering a bit at the moment. Um, but yeah, so it's been a been a great week. We're feeling, I think, relaxed but ready for the next adventure. Yeah, really looking forward to Yapoon because uh, we have done a lot of Queensland before, and uh, but never been to Yapoon, so this will be definitely something different. Yeah, and um, it's another place that a few people have mentioned to us as being somewhere great to visit. Yeah, exactly. So we're gonna stay there for a few nights and maybe spend a day on the Great Keppel island and uh, do some snorkeling there, see what, see what that's like. Yeah, well we hope you've enjoyed this episode. Um, yeah, the next episode will be up same time next week, so please join us for that. In the meantime, if you haven't already, please subscribe, like and comment on our videos. We really appreciate that. And it helps support our channel guys, so you know, help grow our little channel by subscribing, it helps us a lot. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you look after yourselves for this week and we will see you next week. See you next week. Bye. Three. Now watch this. Ready? <laughs> What's so funny? That will look. Incredible.